Alrighty, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So last video, we ventured out to the California Delta. It was our first time to the Delta in quite a long time. We didn't really know what to expect, especially this time of year. Like I mentioned in that video, this time of year, late fall, early winter, these cooler months on the Delta, it can be really tough and totally unpredictable. We had seven rods with us, all of which had baits that I believe on any given day during these cooler months could work. And that's the thing I wanted to emphasize about that trip and today's trip is you can never be too prepared. Some people laugh at folks bringing seven, eight, nine, ten rods, especially out on the kayak. I guess maybe because it looks silly, but man oh man, when you're on the Delta, you need to have multiple rods, multiple presentations and baits just in case these fish are in a specific mood. You know, in the spring, the summer, the bite is wide open or a bite where you can catch them on a lot of different baits, a lot of different presentations. They're not as picky. The fish are scattered more so throughout the system. This time of year, it's not an open bite. More often than not, they're gonna be very specific, honed in on one certain bait or presentation, maybe even a color. And that's, again, why you have to be so prepared. So the other day, what eventually happened was we tried a million things. We tried all of our stuff. Wouldn't you know, the one bait actually that I didn't think we'd get bit on was the bait that seemed to be the pattern and that was the punch bait. One three quarter ounce tungsten weight, little pit boss on the end, throwing it into the hyacinth mats. That seemed to be the only pattern or bite that I could get going on. So today we're gonna go right back to that same spot, try to catch some punch fish. But like I said, and I'm gonna continue to emphasize this, they might not be eating the punch. That's just the thing about the Delta. These fish change by the hour and definitely by the day. So even though we got on the punch bite a couple of days ago, there's still a very good chance that they won't be eating it today. So that's why we're gonna bring another six rods with us. And let me just go over them quickly. We've got the old G-Funk A-Rig. This is the eight ball series. I've mentioned this before, I'm really liking this A-Rig. It's got the eight willow blades. This time of year, there's a lot of shad and a lot of bait balls swimming throughout the system. So if they get honed in on that particular bait or bite, A-Rig is something you wanna have. Next one, pretty standard. We've got a jerk bait. This is the Stunna 112. Again, another shad profile bait. Rod number four, got a little underspin right there. 3.8 inch swim bait. Number five, another bait that you just never know. And that's a top water. So we've got a walking bait. Standard drop shot, no matter what time of year, this is one rod that always needs to be with you out on the California Delta, little weedless drop shot. And our seventh rod bait presentation, a lipless crankbait. So yeah, those are our seven rods, our seven presentations that we're gonna be bringing with us out on the Delta today. We're gonna treat today kind of like a tournament. Gonna set an individual goal today, something I like to do every so often, more so for myself. Today, the goal is to catch five keepers and uh, for the heck of it, we'll, we'll weigh them. I could have just wrote my death sentence right there. I seem to jinx myself every time I say I'm gonna weigh my best five and then it's just a struggle to catch five. But yeah, that is today's video. I'm gonna load up the truck, get to the ramp, launch the kayak, see if we can figure these fish out. Come along, we'll see what happens. It's real low, it's shallow, shallow. We're not riding solo today, guys. Everybody say hello to the Bluetooth man. Oh, God. <laughs> How long, when was the last time you were on the water? Oh, my goodness. Been like at least, like two and a half, three months at least. You remember how to fish, right? Uh, you know, we're gonna find out right now. <laughs> Delta of all places, too. Low tide, gonna have an incoming tide all morning. Right, Ramel? Uh, oh, you cast it? No backlash? <laughs> no backlash? Dude, that's a good start. It's not like Mike Ensign. His first cast is always a backlash. I don't know. Be careful. Don't get too fancy. I know. It's that good feeling.
Oh yeah? How big? 12 There you go. Man, they should be biting this. I know these fish are under these mats. Like I know my bait is in front of their face. You wanna make a little run? Take a look. Oh man, bright red pincher right there, dude. There's so many crawfish, man. Bright red. There we go. My God, no skunk. Thank you, sir. My gosh, 12 o'clock almost. I'm gonna weigh him because I'm like desperate. Well, chatter love. That's a keeper. I'm like pretty sure it's a keeper. I've measured a lot of fish. I'm confident that'd be just at 12 inches. <laughs> hey. 97. <sighs> okay. Well, no skunk. Yeah, they clear this one. No, oh, I gotta figure this out later. I don't know how to use a skill. Yeah, but the rule is if we catch another one that's borderline, we won't weigh it. And that one definitely constitutes borderline. I've caught them out here before, a long time ago. Yeah, it's kind of where it comes in. It gets a little deeper, I think. I hate throwing this, but I think it's gonna catch something. Yeah, I hope just, oh. Man, I'm good at catching small ones today. Wait, can I weigh that one? Ate that thing. Well, I figured they'd bite something or the A rig, you figure, just not the size. Right at the boat. There we go. Got a little another little dink, maybe. Oh my gosh. We, uh, the giants today. Jeez. Hmm. bass swiped at it I didn't even get him in the mouth I think he's a keeper though can take him at this point <laughs> little joker oh my god he's a borderline fish what I say we can't measure another or weigh another borderline fish we won't weigh him. Jerk bait. Interesting. Oh, just had a bad. 
badass follow it. Shoot. I feel like we're getting closer and closer to solving this puzzle. fish. Ah, it's another borderline fish. I feel like we located some fish at least. This could be the deal. 113, it has been such a tough day. Maybe this is a pattern right here. I feel like it should be. Just had a follower, just had a fish. There's got to be a concentration of them right here. That's the thing about fishing, just the variables. Every variable has to line up sometimes when the bite's tough. You gotta find them, and then for the delta, you gotta find them on the right tide. And then you gotta have the right bait and presentation to actually trick them to bite. I think this should be it. May have figured something out. I think there's a lot of fish in this area. Jerk bait. Okay. Yeah. I'm in about six foot over here and it's kind of cleaner bottom overall. I think there's fish just stacked up around here. There we go. There we go. That's a better one. A striper or bass? Feels like a bass. Oh, it is a bass. It's a good one. There we go. Yeah, they're here. All right, we're on, we're on to something now. No, it's a bass. Oh, I can actually weigh another one. I gotta figure this scale out. I still don't know how to use this thing. This is a nice scale. You can like call out fish. I just don't know how to delete the previous weights. All right, there we go. 171. Giant. There we go. Oh yeah, we're on him. We're on him, dude. It's a bass. I can tell he's a bass. I think it's another keeper. Oh yeah, another keeper. There we go. Man, it just happens so quick out here. This goes from nothing to something. Yeah, we can weigh him, that's, that's a keeper. I don't know how to delete old entries on the scale, but I know how to replace them, so we'll just keep doing that in hopes that we replace them all. 132. Thank you, sir. It happens so fast out here. You just finally run into them, you know? Hey, you're gonna run into them sometime. I, <laughs> I was hoping, but you never know still. Finally, this is the good stuff we've been saying right here. It's not as dense of grass. Just letting that bait barely touch the tops and then twitching it out of there, and that's when we're getting bit. You see the depth change right there. See, that's the stuff that's no good. That's the stuff that's good. Oh, there we go. Oh, something hit it. Dang it. Something knocked it. Man, I need to get a hook in your face, dude. Oh, there we go. I knew something knocked it. Not gonna keep. No. Nah. You gotta head back? Yeah, we can go back. I'll probably fish around Frank's for a while, though. Yeah. If you want to jam back through the main channel together, though. Okay. Right there, that tule patch? Yeah. There's like a hard bottom right next to it. There's always fish on it. You gotta roll? Yeah. All right, man. No, we didn't skunk, right? No, we didn't skunk, dude, for sure. That was the goal for me. <laughs> no skunk. Especially this time of year. No skunk. Alrighty, dude. Alright, man. Sounds good. Safe travels, man. Alrighty, folks. I'm sticking it out. It's kind of late, three o'clock, but I am determined to get that limit. Ramel, am I gonna get a limit? You're gonna get a limit, 
<laughs> you gotta get the limit. So we're gonna probably give it another couple hours. I got nowhere to be. At least we got some fish, you know? Not completely hopeless, but it's been tough. That punch deal in the morning didn't work. We're definitely gonna try it again because that's the thing with the Delta. Different tides, different time of day. Those fish will be uh, biting. But right now, we'll fish a little history. I can get two more keepers. That'd just be awesome. Look at that. Ramel. Wizard. That's the spot. Keeper number four right there. No. <laughs> number four. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I think that's a keeper. Gosh, I really believe that's a keeper. It's like just 12 inches. Hopefully we can cull them out. Let's get our complicated scale out. <laughs> Crushing it. <laughs> Maybe there's a bunch of them sitting there. Same spot. There are fish there, they just wanted something different that time. It's keeper number five, folks. That's definitely a keeper. Man, finally one I don't have to guess about. I mean, not very big still, but man, feels good to have a limit. A maybe limit. I know we got a few suspect fish in here, but yeah, jerk bait, huh? Let's see what she goes. I bet this one breaks a pound. Oh, yeah, giant. Number two spot. All right, 597 for our best five, officially. I think we need to at least call the, the ones under a pound, but hey, maybe they're gonna be biting better here. Maybe we're on to something. There we go. Come on, son. Don't be shy. Crushed it, dude. The problem is, he's not even gonna call. Huh, I wanted to punch. I think we will punch, but seems like this jerk bait is kind of the deal now. Punchy action. I kinda don't think it's gonna work. I think jerk bait's more likely, but we gotta give it another shot just in case. I think we're jerk baiting the rest of the day. I think with this higher water, these fish are out in the middle more, out around the grass feeding up. <laughs> That's the thing. Came in thinking our punch was the best bet, and as we weren't surprised by, it wasn't because we knew the bite could change. Today, it's definitely more of a jerk bait deal for me. Got her. Right at the boat. Right at the boat. Oh, he didn't even get the bait. These fish are straight up missing the bait. Oh, I hooked him in not a good spot. Sorry, dude. Yeah, a lot of these fish are just slashing at this thing. Good hooks make a difference. There we go. Man. Mm. Yeah, dink city. Biting though. Definitely biting better than when we first rolled through this area. Oh, there we go. Come on, be a kicker. No, not a kicker. Things are all the same size and they are getting hooked kind of funny. Oh, easy, 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 Bella. Man, where are the big ones? I mean, I'll take bites, trust me. I will take bites. Kind of odd. We haven't, by chance, run into a decent-sized fish yet. Let's 
See, we tried the same spot earlier. Not a single bite. That's just how the delta is. Always different. This is another area where they've stacked up before. They just weren't there this morning on the low tide. It's taken for that water to rise to position these fish where we wanted them to be. I have no clue where they were this morning. Thought they'd be under the cover, but I mean, we punched our hearts out and didn't get a single bite. Delta is one tricky beast. Curious now if there's a bunch of them over there. And flatworm them. threw my flatworm in there. Nobody bit. You guys are being real picky. The little, even the little ones are picky. Man, they're getting smaller. But they want the jerk bait. Golly. I mean, how many dinks are over there? I like catching fish though, so I can't stop. Whoa, that, that would maybe get me to stop putting a hook in me. Oh, oh dude, you almost got me. Now, folks, I know it is a matter of time before before we get a hook in the hand. I know it's going to happen eventually, as much as I fish. I just don't want it to be today. Oh, man. What's that? Is that a striper? It's another... Oh, it is a striper. Dude, I'm netting this little dude. These guys are real feisty. Too feisty for my liking. Man, they're all that size today, the striper. Yeah, let's try one more spot before we head in. Alrighty guys, let's finish it up right here, right by the launch. See if we can actually get a cull fish. <laughs> Today is definitely the day of the dinks. Tons of bait right here, I can see it all scatter. There we go. Oh yeah. Crushing it. Right where that fish was supposed to be. Look at them all right there. Another. That might be a cull. I think that's gonna cull. Oh my god, we got a cull fish. What the heck? Dude, we actually got a cull fish. No way. Right into this little entryway. Actually culling a fish. It's gonna get rid of our 0 0.92. 116. Wow, giant. Oh, it's that same little cast right there. Right there. Oh, see, another bite. This is literally a perfect example of how the tide will position these fish. It's the same cast, right there, right where that mouth is. You can see the current, really it's the tide, coming right through this little cut, and the buffet's on the other side, and those fish know it. The other spot we caught, a bunch of the fish, even though they're dinks, exact same setup. Current coming through a little narrow chute, buffet on the other side. Oh, <laughs> that's so crazy. You know, it's just like reloading. It's like Ponderosa. Ponderosa even still a thing? This spot just keeps getting new customers every minute. And you can see, look, this is the bait that is just coming through there. Oh, dude, that's another call. Oh no, that was a call. That was most definitely a call. Dang it, I got too confident.
Man, that was a pretty long day, 5.30 just about. And you know what, today was a classic day out on the California Delta, meaning unpredictable, tide dependent as far as the bites go, and a grind. You know, we knew today would be a tough day of fishing just because of the time of year. But the goal for me, especially this time of year on the Delta is just to cover water, mix up the bait, try different things, try different tides, try different areas until something sticks. Like I said, the last time we were here, which is just a couple of days ago we got on some punch fish went right to those punch fish didn't get a single bite on the punch tried some other stuff didn't get bit moved on down the river and incoming tide the water was rising all morning kept moving on moving on caught a striper on an a rig slowed down in that area caught another one tried a jerk bait the water was just getting high enough where we could actually work a jerk bait over some of that grass and that was the deal that was kind of our, our aha moment we found an area that had a good concentration of fish striper bass that jerk bait on the paws letting it just settle down tick that grass and ripping it out we'd get bit that way yeah that was about you know 20 30 minutes of uh, of consistent bite then it died off moved on came back to the same area we started we went back to the jerk bait the bait that was getting bit and the areas that these fish were congregating on were on this outgoing tide and these tiny little funnels where this water was escaping and these fish were on the other side just waiting for basically like i said that buffet and they were smashing the jerk bait not big ones but we filled out our limit we think cold one once. I said I'd weigh them and I did. I think 621, just over six pounds for our best five. So slightly embarrassing there, but hey, at least we got the limit. That was the goal today, catch five keepers. Like I said, that's kind of how the Delta is, you know? It's just tide dependent, time dependent. You have to get everything right, it seems like, this time of year, especially when the bite is a lot tougher. Just experimenting and trying different things throughout the day. Hopefully get a hint or two and then hone in on those hints and try to figure something out. That is going to do it for today's very, very long day out on the California. California Delta. The sun has set. Nice full moon in the background, it seems. As always, thank you guys for coming along, and I'll see you in the next one.